What is up, MFers? Welcome back to the Bassmaster Classic. Obviously, man, it is insane out here. It's been so awesome meeting so many MFers uh, at this. So thank you for everyone that came out, said hi. That one dude gave me a giant swim bait. It, it was awesome. It's been an unbelievable experience. As you can see, this is one, this is like 10% of what's here. There's so much here. Um, but the exciting thing is that what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna walk around and tell you guys my brand new baits this year that just came out from all different types of companies, all different types of baits, fishing products in general that are my favorite here at the Bassmaster Classic. Some of them I'll go into detail about, some of them I'll just show you for a few seconds. And, and I think all of them, I'm not associated with these brands at all. I'm just genuinely telling you what my favorite baits are here at the Bassmaster Classic. So come along with me let's go find some sick baits all right so my first stop is going to be the live target booth there's two baits i want to show you guys here two brand new baits that i think a lot of people have a lot of excitement for they've been kind of hyping for a while uh, but they're two really unique totally different baits first one is the new popper let's take a look at this guy so these are the new live target popping frog and to be honest i was kind of worried they'd have like a, a hard mouth on them and they don't at all super super collapsible you guys have seen me catch so many fish on that guy right there in my videos and this guy feels no different it feels super super collapsible soft and it comes in two different sizes the small size though doesn't feel like it's going to cast like a piece of bread it feels like it's actually like a legit 3 8 ounces is what it comes in at nice little popper for the guys to do pond fishing stuff like that and the big size of course is the bigger presence profile looks like it'll walk well and of course comes the good hooks collapse really well I, this is a bait i'm definitely going to pick some up it's definitely gonna be a winner so really happy with that one second bait from live target super super jacked about is this new bait ball spinner rig so it's like a cross between like a spinner bait alabama rig it's got this one guy on the bottom comes in a couple different sizes and it's got the spinner in the middle and then of course it's got these little teasers on top and it comes with extra teasers you can buy them separately this guy is super sick it's like uh, if you guys don't want to go buy a dedicated alabama rig rod you can just throw this on your whatever spinner bait rod it's it's not a heavy bait this one's like a half ounce one that come in three quarter ounce quarter ounce super cool little rig i'm gonna have to experiment with this guy just a, a really nice finesse bait ball style presentation even in the foot of water because the harder you get those rocks the better it pulls it to it fred man is right here this is boom, a big boom. fish man yes it is line up i didn't want it <laughs> now this one I'm interested in too. They have it kind of rigged on like a jig head or something, but I want to throw this guy. I want to flip this guy. I want to skip under docks. This is a Jean LaRue. I don't even know what it's called. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see what it's called. But yeah, I'm sure it'll be on like TackleFreaks.com or something or in your local stores. But this guy, I'm going to have to pick some of these up. This guy needs to be flipped. This looks sick. Not sure if you guys can hear anything I'm saying right now. I'll try to talk a little bit loud, but um, I'm intrigued by these Lunker Hunt prop baits. <laughs> So they have a whole line of different products and they have different stuff right here. So they got like a frog, a turtle, a, a shad, you know, the turtle, turtle's ridiculous. But it comes with this spinning part on the back right here. So it's kind of like a whopper plopper type deal. The problem for me is it's extremely, extremely subtle. You know, the good thing about a whopper plopper, what makes it effective is that heavy chop. And not all of them like that. It's like plop, 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 you know. So this guy just kind of kind of sputters. So I don't know if it's going to be that effective, but it's definitely, to me, it's worth trying out. So I'll probably have to pick some up. Of course, this video would would not be complete without talking about a brand new bait from Six Sense Lures. There literally is no better lipless crankbait you could be throwing right now than this brand new one. This is actually the Quake Thud. I haven't caught a whole lot of fish on it quite yet, but this is the one knocker version. And this guy is gonna be an absolute killer. Once I get back home, we're gonna be fishing a whole lot of stuff, uh, pre-spawn stuff, and uh, water's gonna be heating up, you know, 40s, 50s. And this is finally going to come into play, so I'm super jacked to get out and start throwing this guy a whole lot more. This other one right here, I, I know I told you guys I was going to do a Wiggle Ward style comparison. This is the Mega Bass Wiggle Griffin. So I want to test this guy against, you know, like Six Sense Curve, uh, the old Wiggle Wards, of course, Tekel, and all different types of different baits. But this guy looks pretty cool, and it sounds like they're like selling out of all these at 18 bucks a pop. People might know something. We'll have to try this guy out. And in my quest to find other baits to show you guys, I just picked up this uh, this Major Craft Zone Hunter crankbait. Once again, a Wiggle Ward style bait. I'm gonna have to test the, the action on this guy. I wanna test like 10 different baits. I wanna test all of them. Then you guys can check them out, and see what you guys think. It only helps you, helps me, helps us figure out these fish a little bit more, but cool looking bait. So I wanna show you guys a couple reels I'm like insanely impressed with also. Um, once again, companies I'm, I'm not working with or anything right now. First one is this Shimano Bantam MGL, and this thing feels like 
unbelievably smooth, rock solid. It comes in a bunch of different uh, speeds. It's nice and light, but uh, it still feels rock solid. There's not very many reels, it seems like, that have that really rock solid feeling when they're, they're this light, this well balanced. And it's super, super smooth. Now it is, it is pricey. It's like a $350 reel, but uh, definitely want to check out for some of you enthusiast guys and want to go, if you get some, you know, tax return money, get out and check one of these dudes out. This is a new boating product. A lot of you guys got boats. Obviously, everyone with a boat has a graph on it, but John Hunter here, professional fisherman John Hunter, came out with this brand new product. And talk a little bit about it. It's a screen protector, right? right. Yeah, so it's called Graph Glass. That's exactly what it is. It is a screen protector for your fish finder GPS units. Uh, you know, we all have them for our phones. We spend five, six hundred bucks on a phone. We we'll drop thirty dollars on a screen protector for that. We spend thousands, three, four thousand dollars on a graph. Why not spend 40, 50 bucks? Protect your investment. Tempered glass goes on just like your phone. No water spots. Those water spots pile up. Not gonna happen with this. Clean, super easy. Anti fingerprint. It's got the hydrophobic coating. It wants to repel water, which is awesome. And man, it protects you from cracks from impact. If you were to crack your graph, uh, it's like two thousand dollars to get a refurb. Yeah. That, that they don't they don't replace them at the warranty by the manufacturer. So protect your investment. Get you some graph glass, and uh, I know you'll love it, man. Absolutely, yeah, and that's totally true. Cause like water spots are a huge, huge deal. So just having the added protection of no water spots, you know, you're not getting as much glare off it then. And I've had, I haven't done it myself, but I've had buddies whip a jig, crack the screen, destroy the screen, and it's like you said, it's about as expensive as a brand new one yep. to, to get it replaced. So really cool product. Check it. I'll, I'll link that down below though. Go yeah, check it out. Graphglass.com. Sick, man. Another reel I'm excited about. I think I'm going to pick one up for some of my bigger swim baits and some of my stuff like my, my grass swim baits. So I want to fish a little faster. This is the Revo Toro Rocket. So it's an ultra, ultra fast, ultra tough made for really really big baits has really really good gears in it uh my buddy matt peters uh has a couple of these he really likes them so i'm, I'm gonna have to pick one of these up for my swim bait stuff so i'm over here i made my way to the evergreen booth i'm here and justin kerr is over here they got two new baits i'm super jacked about and then another new bait we're going to talk to you about too but it's uh what's what's this guy called uh that is an ss uh 77 which is a uh, shower blows model which yeah. is the famous shower blows spits water right it's in a frog form it's awesome top water yeah so for you guys that watch the forest wood cup it was one on a very very similar bait same style bait and now we have it on a frog style so you can fish it through a lot thicker cover bushes grass stuff like that so that guy i'm super super jacked about and then uh, this is uh, another new bait. It's really cool. Talk about that one. And this is a noisy dotch. Uh, that's been, they've had it for about 10 or 12 years, and uh, they just brought it out to the U.S. It's an awesome wake bait. Super, super loud. Uh, you can actually pull the pin out here, shorten it up, put the boot here. Uh, it's it's just one of those versatile baits. Big fish love it. Super neat bait. And then of course uh, it's just a, a different size take on a bait that's kind of taking the nation by storm a little bit. Absolutely. Uh, the jackhammer. Yeah, Brett's magic bait here. Uh, he made it in a three-quarter ounce, same features as it has uh, from before, just in a heavier bait, and of course it's going to catch fish. Yeah, of course, guys. So ledge guys, deep grass type guys, you want to get that bait really bogged up in that grass and rip it free, get those reaction strikes. Three-quarter ounce size is going to be badass. Can't wait. So here's another topwater bait. It seems to kind of be a theme. Of course, I love topwater baits. I'm obsessed with them. I mean, for you guys that like the Whopper Plopper, which who doesn't love the Whopper Plopper? This is a really cool one too. Uh, a couple companies have come out with the same system, but it's this uh, Dave's Tournament Tackle. It's a new prop blade. So I know Greenfish Tackle has this uh, the same blade system, but basically it's gonna be like a, a subtle Whopper Plopper type deal on, in front of a toad. So if you like buzz baits, you throw a toad on the back of your buzz bait, which they do have the toad buzz and stuff too. Just a kind of a unique take on this. It's a little bit more subtle, has a little bit more of the plopping chopper type sputtering action in front of your toad. But this dude right here, it looks like a bad, bad dude. I'm gonna have to pick one of these up, see how they work. Looks pretty sick. All right, so as you guys know, I've become a little bit of a uh, swim bait. Uh, I got an addiction, a sick addiction. And my man right here, he's got a sweet way that we can make line throughs with this line through system right here. So basically it's, it's a brass barrel and it's got some little straws, like a little coffee stirring straw almost. And then it's got these tungsten weights and a razor weight. So that's what the system comes with. And he's gonna show you guys how to make one. That's super badass. Let's see. How you going, man? I'm Eric with Reckon Baits. Uh, we have uh, Red One Systems uh, product here at the Bassmaster class. Basically you have your, your brass insert tube. You'll start it at the mouth of the bait or wherever you want your entry point to be. Run it through where you want it until it comes out. Take one of the straws out of the three that's available in the kit. Run it through the brass all the way to where you want it. Pull the brass out. Then you take your weight 
This is a little bit bigger than we would put in this one, but it's the only one I have left. Put it over the straw. We'll fold this bait inside out to show you. Put it over the straw and push it down the length of the straw into the plastic to where you want it. Take the razor blade that comes in the kit. Chop that piece off. Line through. And now you got a rig line through that's safe for your line. And it has a tungsten insert inside of it. And that's made by Red One Systems, and this is Eric with Record Bates. Okay, I'll take a thousand of them. So our next product is a tackle storage option. It's a brand new company. It's called Lure Lock. And this one's kind of a wild card for me. I actually picked one of these up yesterday. They gave me one to try out. And it's kind of a wild card for me because I'm not sure if it'll work, but it's a really, really cool idea. So basically, they got these tackle boxes, and it's got this sticky material in the bottom of it. And apparently you can wash it with soap, um, you, you can clean it. it, it doesn't get all scummy, it won't mess up your lures or anything, but as you can see, it holds your baits in there. So you just stick your bait to it, and it stays there in place. So your stuff's not going to get damaged quite as easy, uh, won't get hung up in each other quite as easy, um, but the verdict's kind of still out on them. I don't know how they're really going to perform when you have a whole bunch of baits stacked up in there. Uh, if it's going to work well for soft plastic baits, but it's definitely something I'm going to try out. I'm going to check out some of these boxes see if they're gonna work but it's a really really cool idea new company lure lock well guys that is it that's the end of the video yeah those are my favorite baits that are here so far at the Bassmaster classic so i'm pretty jacked about those go check those baits i'll link everything down below uh if if it's available to be purchased now if not i'll, I'll do a website just whatever website they're sold on but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying these classic videos, man. This is uh, this is probably gonna be the last you see of me here. I'm very exhausted. We're completely wiped out, and so we're obviously gonna go fish because that's that's what we do, random areas. So I hope hopefully we, we catch something today. These guys are talking about putting the whooping on me, but I got some flick shakes, so that's not gonna happen. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine, I can't stop